Hi dear students, welcome back to our channel and Vinay Kumar Basics of Physics. Dear students, in this video we are going to discuss about the second long answer and third short answer question in the chapter of wave, optic, wave optics and that belongs to intermediate second year. Clear? This answer is long answer at the same time third short answer. So, if you answer, Rendu answers ki ki help out only. This is also one of the most interesting and important topic. So, children, watch the video till and without any skip. Then only my content will reach you. Otherwise, you can't understand anything. Okay. So, children, in our channel, we are uploading from 9th class physical science to up to M set neat videos. That's why everyone must subscribe our channel and get the latest updates okay without late we are going to the topic the question should be like this second long answer distinguish between the coherent and incoherent addition of waves develop the theory of constructive interference so coherent waves coherent sources gurinchi explain cheyamantunnadu at the same time constructive interference form ayinappudu ledha destructive interference form ayinappudu aa light yokka intensity yokka equation derive cheyamantunnadu so the thing first thing you have to know about the what is coherent source and what is coherent wave and what is mean by incoherent source and what is mean by incoherent wave children the waves which are having there is no phase difference with respect to time then those waves are called coherent waves and the sources which can produce the coherent waves, those are called coherent sources. Got my point, children. Even the sources, nunchi manaki vastu na twenty waves yoka phase difference lo twenty mark po leer kaite. A waves ni coherent waves ani, a sources ni coherent source ani anta mo. And for example, ikda this is the one wave. Clear? And this is the another wave. Both are released from the source at a time and both are reaches the screen at a time. Then the type of waves are called coherent waves. Okay, source nunchi release in Travata, okay, withinga muotu, okay, sari screen reach out to Nianakoni, what in Imanamo, coherent waves and tamo. Then coherent source definition you couldn't show any coherent sources. The two sources which maintain zero or any constant phase difference are known as coherent sources. Even are two sources this kuna puru. What the middle one phase difference is zero. I will not like it. What the number of coherent sources anta mo. Ala ka kunda incoherent source ante definition chudam. If the phase difference changes with time, the two sources are called incoherent sources. Even a rendu sources in Chi was in a twenty waves in Madhya phase difference value wunte. What in the incoherent sources any andamo? So to understand the coherent sources in our textbook, they given one example for you. In study water, if we are making like that, two nails are moves up and down, moves up and down, moves up and down in the water. Then they can form the waves, those waves are going to be interfere each other. So superposition should be takes place. Look here, this is the diagram. For example, in your textbook, they was given some hands, but the arrangement should be like this. This is the one vibrator. For that vibrator, we are given two nails. These two are what it is. These are, these are the two nails. And when the vibrator is switched on, the nails will be goes up down up down and presses the water at the same time so due to that here some ripples are formed ripples are formed so these radicular ripple waves are formed by the first this nail and blue color waves are can be found by this one to understand i am drawing the separate with different colors so now here when the water waves are formed by the both nails they are going to be superimposed together so here the resultant Wave should be reaches the point P like this here. Here S1 should be taken as the first source and S2 should be taken as the second source. The waves which are coming from the two sources they should be constructed and they should be meet at the point P. 
here when we are taking these two sources if there is no change in phase difference of the waves with respect of time then these two sources are called coherent sources and these waves are called coherent waves ఈ రెండు సోర్సెస్ నుంచి వచ్చేటువంటి వేవ్స్ యొక్క ఫేజ్ అనేది మారకుండా ఉంటే అంటే కాన్స్టెంట్ ఫేజ్ ఉంటే ఈ వేవ్స్ అన్నిటిని మనము ఇన్కోహరెంట్ వేవ్స్ అంటాము వీటి యొక్క ఏవైతే నెయిల్స్ ఉంటాయో ఆ నెయిల్స్ని ఇన్కోహరెంట్ సోర్సెస్ అంటాము సో నెక్స్ట్ ఇక్కడ చూడండి ఎయిన్స్ డబల్ సీట్ బ్రేక్స్ చూడండి కూడా మనం దీనికి ఎగ్జాంపుల్ చెప్పుకోవచ్చు ఇక్కడ ఎస్ అనేది ఒక సోర్స్ ఉంది దాని నుంచి వేవ్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఇలా వచ్చేస్తున్నాయి and those are passing through the s1 and s2 and they should be meet at a point p on the screen so e p and a point there are constructive interference there is the that is the bright band ala kaakunda destructive interference there is the that is the dark band so what is mean by constructive interference and what is mean by destructive interference so children all of you know here for example this is the one wave crest trough crest trough crest like that so when crest of the second wave must be falls over the crest of the first wave trough must be falls over the trough of the second wave like that then that type of interference is called interference is called constructive interference second wave yokka crest anedi first wave yokka crest meda fall avutundi second wave yokka trough anedi ఫస్ట్ వేవ్ యొక్క ట్రఫ్ మీద ఫాలో అవుతుంది సో ఆ విధంగా సూపర్ ఇంపో అయితే దాన్ని మనం ఏమంటాం అంటే కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ అంటాం ఆ విధంగా కాకుండా క్రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది వన్ వేవ్ షుడ్ బి ఫాల్స్ ఓవర్ ది ట్రఫ్ ఆఫ్ ది అనదర్ వేవ్ ఒకదాని క్రిస్ట్ అనేది ఇంకో దాని ట్రఫ్ మీద ఫాలో అవుకుంటూ వస్తుంది అనుకోండి అప్పుడు ఆ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ని మనం డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ అంటాం సో డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ అయినప్పుడు మనకి ఇంటెన్సిటీ వ్యాల్యూ తగ్గుతుంది సో ఇప్పుడు ఈ ఆన్సర్లో మనం ఏం డిస్కస్ చేయాలి అంటే ఆ ఇంటెన్సిటీస్ ఆ మ్యాక్సిమం ఇంటెన్సిటీ మినిమం ఇంటెన్సిటీకి ఈక్వేషనే డెరైవ్ చేయాలి మ్యాక్సిమం ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఎప్పుడు ఫామ్ అవుతుంది మ్యాక్సిమం ఇంటెన్సిటీ కెన్ బి ఫామ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ అండ్ మినిమం ఇంటెన్సిటీ ఎప్పుడు ఫామ్ అవుతుంది బికాస్ ఆఫ్ డిస్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ వన్స్ ఐ వన్స్ అగైన్ ఐఎమ్ టెలింగ్ యూ వాట్ ఈస్ బీన్ బై కన్స్ట్రక్టివ్ ఇంటర్ఫిరెన్స్ క్రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది వన్ వేవ్ షుడ్ బి ఫాల్స్ ఓవర్ ది క్రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది అనదర్ వేవ్ and the crest of the one wave should be falls over the trough of the next wave that should be what we call destructive interference waves chart cheppetappudu ee constructive destructive gurinchi chaala clear explain chesanu beads formation appudu okka sari aa video chudandi malli meek clear ga ardham avutundi okay na so ipudu direct lengthy video kaakunda direct ga manam derivation ki velipodam okay na okay children this is the one of the important derivation and so many formulas are included and that the same topic is useful for competitive exams also watch very carefully so just now i already told you we have to take the displacements of two waves the first one is y1 is equals to a sin omega t y is equals to a sin omega t and displacement of the second wave which is coming from the second source for example here uh, this is a source 1 and this is the source 2 and now this is the displacement of the first wave and this is the displacement of second wave clear so this is s1 and this is s2 like that here y1 is equals to a sin of omega t that should be coming from the source s1 and y2 is the coming from s2 and both are meet at this point p so now we want to find out the displacement at this point p on the screen so here the displacement should be taken as a sin of omega t plus pi so this is the displacement of the wave coming from the secondary source or second source so now according to according to principle of superposition of waves principle of superposition superposition of waves superposition of waves what we write y is equals to y1 plus y2 we have to write now you substitute these two values in that equation y is equals to a sin omega t plus a sin of omega t plus pi children now y is equals to a sin omega t here a is i am writing like this this is in the form of sin of a plus b sin of a plus b 
So sine of a plus b formula is what children? Sin a cos b plus cos a sin b. This is the formula we are going to use. Sin of a plus b. In the place of a what do we have? Omega t. In place of b what do we have? Pi. That's what you write. Sin omega t cos pi plus cos omega t sin pi. So now we have to multiply with the a. Then what do you get? y is equals to a sin omega t plus a into sin omega t. a into sin omega t cos pi plus a into cos omega t sin pi. So children, here you have to observe here in this equation we have a sin omega t is there a sin omega d is there. So now we have to take a sin omega d is common. Then what do we write children? y is equals to a sin omega t of 1 plus cos pi. a sin omega t we are taking outside. We have only cos pi. Here 1 plus a cos omega t sin pi. After that children, here I am writing like let a into 1 plus cos pi a into 1 plus cos pi is equals to a cos theta so a into 1 plus cos pi everyone good enough a cos theta good enough similarly a into sin pi a into sin pi is equals to a sin theta so children this is equation number 1 and now it is equation number 2 and equation number 3 now we have to is squaring on both sides these equations and we have to add them squaring on both sides and after that we have to add 2 and 3 then what do you get let's go for that here derivation is very important children the body is not spa spacious that's why I am writing very small that's why we have to focus very carefully so we have to do squaring on both sides what do we write what you have to write children simply a of 1 plus cos pi all square is equals to a square cos square theta and again this one a sin pi all square is equals to a square sin square theta so for that here you will write a square into 1 plus cos pi all square is equals to a square cos square theta and here how it is children a plus b all square that's why here a square of 1 plus cos square pi plus again 2ab 2 cos pi is equals to a square cos square theta a square cos square this is theta no need to confuse so this is a theta now we have to multiply with the a, a square then what do you get a square into 1 a square a square into cos square pi plus 2 into a square into cos pi is equals to a square cos square theta and already what do we have children here a sin pi all square is there a sin pi all square is there it means what a square sin square pi is equals to a square sin square theta so now we have to add these two then what you get here a square plus here a square cos square pi plus a square sin square pi that's why i am directly taking the common here a square of cos square pi plus sin square sin square pi sin square pi of plus 2a square cos pi is equals to a square of cos square theta plus sin square theta so already what we know cos square pi plus sin square pi and cos square theta plus sin square is equals to 1 then what do we get children so here we are going to write like that here a square plus a square into cos square pi plus sin square pi value is 1 plus 2a square cos pi 
that is equals to here this is a square into 1 then what do you get children a square plus a square plus 2a square cos pi is equals to a square so a square plus a square 2a square so here 2a square plus 2a square cos pi is equals to capital A square here again these two what did is common 2a square is common 2a square is common so 2a square of 1 plus cos pi is equals to a square clear so children in mass we have formula it is that that is what here simply 1 plus cos theta is equals to the formula is 2 cos square theta by 2 2 cos square theta by 2 so we are using the same formula here that is 2a square into 2 cos square pi by 2 is equals to a square then what do you get children 2a square into 2 4 4 a square cos square pi by 2 is equals to a square so children this is the expression for amplitude what it is amplitude so but we have to find out the expression for intensity clear children ok sorry deletion mottam raskondi then continuation mali nini chesthu nanu so then goes a space house from the nirai chesthu nanu ok na children the intensity of the resultant wave after the constructive interference that should be directly proportional to the square of the amplitude square of the amplitude that's why here we are going to write like this i is proportional to a square what it is i is proportional to a square i is proportional to a square so to equate them we are using one constant i is equals to k into a square i is equals to k into a square already we derived the expression for a square what did it children i is equals to k into as this one 4 a square cos square pi by 2 children so in this case what you have to write so we are writing like this i is equals to k into a square into 4 cos square pi by 2 in this case here k into a square should be taken as i naught so here i naught is the intensity of individual waves intensity of individual waves that is what k a square therefore i is equals to what do you write 4 i naught cos square pi by 2 so children this is the expression for the resultant intensity resultant intensity so now in this case children from that formula when we will get the constructive interference and when we will get the destructive interference so for that also some conditions are there let's go for that that condition is for bright or maximum intensity maximum for maximum intensity so the condition is pi value should be equals to the 2n pi pi value is 2n pi where n is the 0 1 2 3 and so on that means pi value is what nothing but pi is 0 2 pi 3 pi sorry 0 when we are substituted 0 what do we get 0 when we substitute 1 2 pi when we substitute 2 4 pi next one is 6 pi and so on then we will get the intensity is maximum that is this term becomes 1 that is what i is equals to 4 i naught in that formula when pi is equals to 2 n pi and n values are 0 1 2 3 and so on pi value equals to ingawari 0 gari 2 pi gari 4 pi and 6 pi i te now what do you get the maximum value is i 4 i naught clear so my complete exam lo e value important the formula that you have to for minimum intensity for minimum intensity for minimum intensity so we will write pi is equals to 2n plus 1 into pi pi is equals to 2n plus 1 into pi in this case nothing but pi is nothing but pi 3 pi 5 pi and so on then what do you get i is equals to 0 will get i is equals to will get 0 
So in this case, what you write here, intensity is zero. That is shows the destructive interference, and I is equal to four and R shows the constructive interference. So children, this is the theory about the resultant intensity of coherent sources. So I hope you understand. If you can understand this one, like, share, comment the video. Dear students, if you are satisfied about my teaching style, and if you can understand the classes. you can suggest our channel to your friends also okay thank you bye take care